today we're doing upper control arms on a Tesla Model 3. Uh, this has squeaky upper control arms, so when you turn, you get like a squeaky noise when you're going to have a suspension. So today we're going to do the front upper control arms on this car. It's a uh, 2021 Model 3 long range, but it's the same across all Model 3s. So yeah, we'll lift the car up, get the wheels off, and then we'll start, get going. Right, so what it is that squeaks, it's this outer ball joint here. So this ball joint, the grease in this disappears uh, and this starts to squeak normally. So what we need to do is we need to take off this belt here, which has a torque on the side, a belt on that side. And there is a bolt just here and there's a bolt just here that go through and hold the inner. We're also going to have to take off this. So this is the um, wheel speed sensor, so that's going to have to come off of there. We're going to have to take out the front in order to access the top of the suspension. So first of all, we'll just pull that panel off, come straight off. Then there are four bolts, which we'll see I'm pointing out here. They need to be removed in order to remove the front. There are also two more, which I'll show you later on. We'll also need to pull this out. So these little white clips just pull up. If you lift this air vent up, they will come straight out. So remove that and then use your 10 mil to remove these four bolts as I'm doing here. Now you'll need to pull this front portion off. So if you pull from the from these two holes, you'll be able to pull this up. You'll need to remove that electrical connector that connects to that panel and then these two additional bolts need to be removed which are also 10 mils. Once you get these two bolts out and remove that electrical connector, the front will lift out as you'll see in a moment. You see here, I'm just loosening the top on both sides from its clips. Oh, and then there's also a 10 mil there. Remove the 10 mil next to the washer bottle. Okay, now that will lift up and we'll be able to lift the front out as I'm gonna do now. Once you have the front out, you need to remove the pop clips. There are two of these. And lift this panel up. You'll have access to the, uh, the pop clip here. You'll need to slightly lift up the windscreen cowling in order to be able to get to the back two bolts you see here I'm lifting it up there are four bolts there are two at the front so I'm, I'm doing one here and there's one the same size on the back right which is there and the other two are smaller I believe they were 13 and 15 mils now we're gonna line this up with the four bolt holes that came out earlier put back in the box Once the suspension's come all the way forward, you can remove the 15 millimeter bolts at the back that remove the old suspension arm. This is the new part we're gonna be fitting. It's brand new from Tesla. So you wanna leave the suspension out while you fit this. Otherwise there's no access to be able to torque the rear bolts up to spec. These rear two bolts you want to torque up to 50 Newton meters. Okay, then I'm going to push the suspension back into place to line up with those top holes. Right, we're now going to put these back in that can that hold this up. So there's two big bolts and two smaller bolts. Make sure they go in the right place. Okay, we're just going to do these bolts up now. Um, so the these bolts here, the 13 mils. They go to 35 newton meters, that's that one and that one. And then the 15 mils, which is this one and this one, they have to go to 62 newton meters. So we do them, same on both sides. So this side's the same. So 
so it'll be 13 newton meter a uh, 30 millimeter uh, goes to 35 and the big one goes to 62 and then the same so the small ones there and the big ones over here right so we've got the top mount secured back on we've got these torqued up now you have this arm this uh full joint sorry into here um, these can be a bit awkward because you have to kind of pull them down angle this a little bit like that to get it going. What you also want to do is have bolt handy because as soon as it's in you want to slide that through to lock it. There you go. Locked. Um, and then as mentioned earlier we're going to go for a brand new nut on that. It's a new nylon. now. So there you go, it's a Torx T50. That's going to go on there. Okay. Right, so this one's going to be 56 newton